Russell Wilson is prioritizing his health, and he's not afraid to spend some serious cash to do so. During a conversation on the Bill Simmons podcast last month, the Seattle Seahawks quarterback opened up about how he takes care of his body. Football is a physically demanding sport, requiring players to adopt intense recovery techniques to avoid injuries. Russell revealed to Bill that he goes all out in this department and pays a pretty penny for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably spend a million, if not more, a year yeah. just on recovery. Russ also shouted out all of the people behind the scenes that help him stay in tip-top shape, from his and wife Sierra's full-time trainer to his full-time physical therapist. I have a full-time, you know, uh, mo mo mobile person that's working on me, that's making sure that I'm, you know, moving, you know, the right way and everything else. I have a, um, I have a full-time massage person. You know, we have uh, two chefs, so we have a whole performance team. Bill was floored by all Russell had going on which reminded him of another athlete who invests a ton in his recovery. And the reality this is- This sounds like that, LeBron. You, you, you went full oh, LeBron yeah. on us. Oh yeah, I've been doing it for five years or so, six years now. Do you have the hyperbaric um, chamber? I got the hyper, I got everything. I got, I got all the toys. I got the, I got the hyperbaric, I got two hyperbaric chambers. Russell said that he works on his body 365 days a year, sometimes taking a breather on Thanksgiving and Christmas. And all that work is to make sure he stays in the game for as long as he can. I'm trying to play till I'm 45 at least, you know? And so yeah. for me, my mentality is, is that I'm gonna leave it all in the field and do everything I can to take care of myself. As Russell continues to work hard to sustain himself in the NFL, he has his biggest fans, Sierra and their kids, cheering him on. The Level Up singer and her son, Future, daughter Sienna, and baby Wynn all showed off their Seahawks pride from home on the first game day of the season. It was Wynn's first time watching his dad play, and he dressed up for the occasion. And the next week, he matched his siblings in football PJs. The little guy already fits right in with his older brother and sister, and Sierra recently told Access Hollywood about their bond. With Wynn, all they wanted is love on him. Like, he's like the sweetest thing to them. There's not one day where they're like, he's getting all this love. And, you know, they don't feel like there's like a little brother and sister jealousy, none of that stuff with him. Like, they're super excited about him. And all they want to do is hold him. And Sienna thought he was like a baby doll in the beginning. I had to show her early on that you can't hold, you can't do him like a baby doll. Um, because we all know how that goes. Because um, baby dolls get slung around all kinds of ways. But, um, you know, they're in love. We're, we're all like having the time of our life right now. And so it's been a blessing. How was the delivery? Oh, it was, it was amazing, actually. Um, really smooth, um, really quiet. You know, the hospital isn't as busy. Um, I had to deliver when with the mask on, which was really surreal. And like another thing that really marked and even with my hospital, my um, my ultrasound visits, I had to also have a mask. So that's been the whole part, part like the story of my life um, during COVID. But it was still very special. You know, I think the, the sweetest thing of all is that, um, you know, we were blessed with a healthy delivery with our son. Um, and so that was the best. And I have to say, I, I, my husband was pretty darn awesome because um, during all of it, he was like everything in one. You know, he was a cameraman, making sure we had the camera set up right so we can get the angle of when the baby comes out. And he actually helped pull Win out towards the end, which was really sweet. So we got some memorable moments, um, you know, and he had chest to chest with him and it was just very intimate and, you know, really, really full of love more than anything. So um, I'm grateful for that. Oh, I was thinking I'd, I love Russell on the playing field. I was imagining he'd be great in the delivery room, but this sounds like he exceeded every expectation again. <laughs> he cracks me up because he'll he'll say he'll he's like I'll be calling plays. Green lady, say hut like with the baby's coming out. I'm like, babe, seriously, <laughs> you know. So we would crack jokes about that prior to delivery, uh, but he was awesome.